This is my workstation. Every day it is grinding Premiere, After Effects, Lightroom, Photoshop, CPU and GPU intensive stuff. And I've noticed over time that the GPU has started to run hotter than your mom in her heyday. But we can sort this out. Now most people are quite familiar with repasting a CPU, it's not a difficult task. However, GPUs somewhat get neglected. So repasting every two to three years is pretty good practice. Now in this particular case, what I'm gonna be using is something different, something I've never used before. And that is the Thermal Grizzly Phase Sheet PTM. So what the hell is PCM or phase change material? It's essentially a substance that can change from one state to another. In this case, from a solid to a liquid. And what's really cool about this stuff is the temperature at which it does this. At 45C, it goes from this floppy boy to a more liquid state, which more efficiently aids in the thermal transfer from the fiery inferno of your CPU, or in this case, a GPU, filling in all those peaks and valleys between the die and the bottom plate of your cooler. Much like any thermal paste would, however, this stuff, I believe, has a lifespan of up to 10 years. I've been reading online about how wonderful this stuff is, so we're gonna give it a try today. The GPU's home is with a Threadripper 3960X, 24 cores, 48 threads, 128 gigs of 3600 MHz RAM, with pretty good airflow because I replaced the glass panels with the wooden coarse air replacements, this being the bamboo. Now let me address this whilst I can. Yes, the graphics card should be in the top slot for 4x16 PCI Express speeds. But unfortunately, if I plug the GPU into the top slot, I get PCI Express 1x4 speeds. If I try and enable 4x16, I get no display. Currently, it's sitting in a PCI 3x16 slot. Works perfectly. The difference between PCI 4 and 3 by 16 is like a percent, so I don't care. And this is mostly a workstation machine anyway. Okay, so we've got an idle power draw of between 13 to 16 watts and GPU core is sitting at 44 degrees, as is our hotspot. I'm gonna run Fermark for about 30 minutes to get a baseline to see how toasty we get it and see if we can cook our breakfast on it. Currently we're pulling 300 watts on the card, so we'll let this run for a while and we'll see where everything lands. But first, story time. Just watching these temperatures, guys, made me think back to when I had my old Antec 1200, a legendary case, and it had a side panel fan made all the difference in keeping a GPU cool. I had a 6900 XT XFX, same card pretty much. When I changed over to this case, the temperatures on that GPU went up a good 10, 15 degrees. So the side panel 100% helps in cooling your GPU. I really wish they'd bring that back. So let me know which cases you guys had back in the day and which one you'd like a, like a refresh of. I think if Antec did a refresh of the 1200, I would definitely consider that because flip man, that was nice. All right guys, we are reaching the end of our test here. We're sitting at 27 minutes now. I think we've reached equilibrium. Our GPU clock speed's now at 1997, averaging around there. We're still putting, putting 300 watts, 303 max. We're sitting at 107 degrees on the hotspot at the moment. The limit is 110. So we are literally, I'm getting chowed by mosquitoes while I do this video, guys. I can't even tell you how itchy my feet are right now. The max hotspot temperature is 110. So I'm literally, I'm teetering on the edge here because the PCB is going to be hot right now. So right now I just want to get some airflow over it, make sure it cools down back to like equilibrium again at idle speeds. Then we'll pull it out, let it cool down some more, and then we're going to pull it apart, clean it up and cool things down. We've got everything we need to get this job done. Precision bit tool set from Xiaomi, very cool to have. I'm sure you guys know Xiaomi make a ton of cool stuff. I'm a fan. Our face sheet PTM from Thermal Grizzly. This is a 50 by 40 millimeter, which is going to be bigger, I assume, than the die of this GPU, so we might have to cut it down to size. Our XFX Toasty Boy 6950 XT. This GPU is about three years old now, and I'm somewhat mostly almost certain that the paste on it is as crusty as that pizza at the back of your fridge. A paper towel to clean up the ashes and some isopropyl alcohol. Oh, there we go. She's lifted, boys. Our thermal pads look all right. They look in really good condition still. They don't seem to be flaking, they're still quite soft. However, what I'm most concerned about is our thermal paste over here. And let's just see how squishy it is. Yeah, see how it's all, 
it's hard, it's not too bad, but there isn't a lot of it. The spread wasn't amazing. I'm glad we're still going to repaste this with the TPM sheets. Right, now, here is our Thermal Grizzly ETM. I learned this trick from a guy called Salem Texperts on YouTube, and he fixes laptops. And what you do is, you lay down the TPM over the die, and you just gently press down on it, like so. Just so you create an imprint on the actual material itself. Here we go. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is cover up this bad boy. It is protected on both sides, so what you wanna do is pull the one side off, okay, and drop it on top of your GPU. Now, don't forget to take off the top layer. All right, now I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. I don't know if this is actually going to make a difference. Apparently it takes a day or two for the PTM to actually settle, so I won't see results immediately. It's going to take a fair amount of time. So I'll run it for a few days and then I will finish up this video for you guys with the results. All right guys, so it's been about a week since I repasted the, the GPU with the face sheet PTM. PTM? TPM? Face sheet PTM. I was away for half that week out of town. So it's had some time to sit. I did actually do some burn-ins prior to me leaving. Uh, I am keen to see how this stuff performs or if we're still gonna have a very toasty boy. I'm gonna cook the GPU for 30 minutes as we did before to reach that equilibrium, see what sort of temps we get. I am not a professional YouTuber by any stretch of the imagination, so I don't have temperature probes in a, a thermally controlled room. My test methodology is literally, it feels warmer. All right, it's been running for about 30 minutes now and great success. We have definitely dropped in temperature, both on the GPU core as well as on the hotspot. By a good, I don't know, what, five to seven degrees? That's amazing, I'm so pleased with that result. And what I've noticed as well is that my GPU clocks are sustaining a slightly higher clock speed throughout. Um, there are a few dips now and then, but it's definitely holding much better than it did before. I'm not gonna bore you guys with charts and graphs. I'm just gonna show you what I'm seeing right in front of me. And I'm gonna throw in a trust me bro for good measure. Repasting a GPU actually works. Wow. Now I'm of the opinion, quite strongly in fact, that if you look after your shit, it's gonna last. Dropping the temperatures by five to seven degrees might not seem like a lot. However, it could greatly increase the longevity of it actually performing and running and running well. If your GPU is two, three years old, give it a bit of a repaste. And I'd highly recommend this Phase Sheet PTM thermal pad for ease of use, it's not messy, and it also gives you peace of mind that your GPU is going to be actually just fine for even the next 10 years. Repasting your GPU, as you saw, can be really easy. Take your time, enjoy it, don't rush the process. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay lacquer, happy repasting, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye.